This is where the journey began, and now it's where it ends. This is the journey in miraculous taste. Welcome back. And by now you've seen this journey reach our victorious climax of me meeting Sasha. This video is dedicated to every single moment etched in time forever as it happened. Although I couldn't get any audio or video recording because they're prohibited. So I'm just going to tell you in the past tense what happened. Every detail and every single moment of me getting this and getting it signed. So what I lack in uh, audio and video proof that I met Sasa, uh, I think I bought a made up for with the slides, so which hopefully you saw. This video is my experience meeting Sasa BTS every single moment. On we go. So this is where it all happened. This is bookends of Winsford and there's no question that I will be back. I caught the 520 bus nearest where I live, which is also TSR headquarters, and I got here at around 558, within two minutes of the signing beginning. So I got here in the nick of time, and my friend Donna was waiting here for me, and she was getting quite concerned that I wasn't here yet. She described me to the manager as the biggest Pretty Little Elias fan. She didn't specify it any further. She didn't say I was the biggest PLL fan in the state of New Jersey, or maybe even Pacific County. She just said I was the biggest fan. That's all they needed to hear. Within 45 seconds of me getting on the VIP line, that's right, I was transferred to the VIP line. What a stroke of luck that was. I was in and out of here five minutes, and within 45 seconds of getting on the VIP line, and there were about three to four people on that line, I met Sasa. She was right at this area right here, in between uh, the greeting cards and some of the children's books and YA books. This area right here. The manager motioned me to beat Sasa, and again, 45 seconds online is uh, pretty hard to beat. But Sasa was just beyond gracious. She was caring, and attentive, and appreciative, and so loving, and nurturing, and oh my goodness, she was just absolutely wonderful, and even more gorgeous than you could possibly imagine in person. No wonder why they called him Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> Meeting the queen, the head liar no less, was an honor I can never, ever wash away. Once Sasa got down at this floor, at the VIP line, she went downstairs to greet the large mass of people that were waiting on line to get her autograph and picture. Uh, Donna says, by her estimation, there were about 60 to 70 people here. Stark contrast to David's 35 people who attended Steve Gorman's book signing, just like you heard about a few videos ago. Um, the big Sasa in the taste book cover sign is no longer on display outside, but it is on display inside. And for those who didn't attend the event, they have autographed copies which you could buy for a regular price and adding up taxes, that would be $27.71. Um, I couldn't do this inside here as you well know because filming is prohibited. I didn't get an audio recording because the manager and the on-site photographer took my phone to take plenty of photos. So, uh, hey, I'm grateful for that. And really, all of it added up to even more of an awesome experience than I could have dreamt of. I'll tell you why later. You guys obviously didn't think I was going to leave you hanging with just even one shot of bookends, right? This place is awesome. And I should also mention that I asked the manager if I could give Sasa a card that I also bought here for bookends for $3.70 and he said, yeah. Uh, on Instagram, I appeal to you guys, if you have any messages for Sasa in 100 characters or less, uh, put them in the Instagram comments of my post of that meeting card, which is congratulatory based, and uh, I will write them down. And I had several messages. 
So I wrote a few of them down and I gave it to Sasa. She loved it. She says thank you so much to everybody who contributed to that card. She said she was going to keep it. And then afterwards, uh, she signed my book, Sasa, and uh, wrote down my name, Pete XO. Kiss and hug. We then did Avi Montgomery Justice. We did Lucy Hale's famous Whisper Sus intro. And that is a photographic memory I will treasure forever. And uh, we hugged. Uh, we gave each other a greeting and party fist bumps. But the hug was the best. I mean, I could not possibly leave this facility without giving Sasa a warm embrace. That's how much I love Sasa. You guys know that Troy Belisario is my crust of crusts, but I love all the liars equally. And I love Sasa a lot. I mean, she's the queen liar, Allison Diamantis. And to meet her at this venue, come on. How big of an honor is that? Anyway, we went up to the top of East Richmond Avenue Center afterwards. Um, I eventually sat in Donna's car in the back for a while just to recollect, recollect on what was going on. Because even now, it's going to take a long time to process that I met Allison Di Laurentiis in person, and she was a sweetheart down to a soul. I posted that on Instagram, uh, me and our, uh, <laughs> Allison doing the shh. And I had so many congrats from a lot of PLO pals. And guess what? Even Sasha herself liked that post. People. They make it all work here. This is a small business, and yet they provided me a humongous blessing. This was the venue for one of the grandest days of my life. So if you are ever in Ridgewood and you have some money to splurge, get to bookends, and preferably get yourself an autographed book. I'm tempted to buy the WWE official cookbook because you know how much I love WWE, and it's autographed too. By the way, Sasa in good taste would make an awesome gift for the holidays, especially when it's autographed. Oh, that would make the PLL fan in your life extremely happy for the holiday season. Um, they updated their upcoming events display right here. So there you go. I met Sasa BTS at bookends. I had to put this camera in my friend's car and really being in and out of here in five minutes due to me coming in the nick of time and Donna saying the match I was the biggest fan through strong word of mouth and I guess through the stroke of luck and through the signs of a certain patron saint one of my dreams came true oh wait I should probably tell you what I did after I purchased in good taste on the morning of the event I went down to the music and art store here in East Richmond Avenue Center and I purchased my mallet conducting baton, 14 inches, walnut white, for 31 bucks and change. And by now you probably saw that review. I went to get some breakfast because, well, I didn't really have anything to eat 
until I got here. So, the Daily Treat restaurant, I wanted to eat on their patio outside, but it started to rain. A light sprinkle of rain, but I didn't want to take any chances because I don't want my pages in the cookbook to be damaged. So I went inside, and the six chicken fingers challenge breakfast, not really, well, all I know is that number one, the eye in the world daily is crooked. Uh, they need to fix the sign a little bit. And two, it was cheap, and I was hungry, and it was good. I never really had a chicken finger or a chicken tender for that matter that I didn't like. And uh, good reasonable prices. Across the street, that is the Memorial Park, where I saw the opening title secrets for this series. What great fun that turned out to be, huh? As promised, this is where we went to dine to celebrate Finca, the estate of small plates. Now Donna was actually insisting that we go back to Daily Treat and dine over there to celebrate because she didn't want to go hoity-toity for an event like this. In all actuality, this place isn't that hoity-toity and they have reasonable prices. Anyway, we had a lovely fall breeze, so we actually dine out here in the outside area. Can't really call it a patio because there's nothing to really uh, provide a gate between uh, the sidewalk and uh, the outside dining space. But we did dine outside here. Uh, we sat on one of these tables. And then uh, we ordered, I ordered a chicken breast caprese, which I fantasized about. And Donna ordered the uh, boneless barbecue short ribs, I believe, with sweet potato fries. Uh, have a look at the menu. So, land, chicken breast caprese, 11.25, it's gluten free. And what it is, is two grilled chicken breasts, and sitting on top of it is a caprese salad. Cubed, diced, house-made mozzarella, um, julienne, red onion, sliced really, not julienne, uh, tomatoes, diced, basil, sprinkled, and as Donna indicated, whole cilantro leaves. The flavors were exceptionally delicious. Uh, she had the uh, sweet potato fries here. Vegan. Five. Five. Gluten free two. And uh, can we get the uh, uh, short rib or the uh, barbecue sliders on here? Somewhere on this menu. It's got to be somewhere on this menu. We ordered from this menu. Oh. Well. Maybe not really, but hey, she did have the sliders, and from what I could tell, they were also quite good. We didn't get the side here though, because I was hesitant to get the side. But, we didn't end up getting the side. At a different place though. But really, the chicken bus to play today was exceptionally delicious. Uh, Donna loved the boneless barbecue short lip sliders. Think of the estate of small plates in Ridgewood. Type of style restaurant, a lovely eating establishment. You want to check it out? This is where we had dessert, Pierre and Michael, an authentic French bakery. Um, I don't drink coffee, but we ended up splitting a chocolate coffee cake. A chocolate opera cake would be the uh, alternate name for that. This is where we sat to enjoy our decadent dessert. Believe me, that chocolate coffee cake was decadent. Look at that. Chocolate coffee cake, chocolate coffee ganache, buttercream coffee filling, chocolate whipped cream for $6.50. What a steal. I wish I could have Instagrammed both dinner and dessert for you guys, but my phone was down to 16% battery and I didn't want it to die, so I had to turn it off. But I think you get what I'm saying. Awesome food. I mean, you saw the features on that coffee cake on the sign. Then we sat on this couch to enjoy it. It was decadent to the tea, and it was exquisitely delicious. Uh, we didn't dine outside for this one. Donna was hesitant to dine outside because she felt it was too cold, but I felt one of my sweater. And so, she went to be dine outside near Finca, but I do not think that dining inside Pierre and Michael. Comfy, cozy, and very Parisian. Well, to an extent, but that coffee cake, that chocolate coffee cake, was just phenomenally delicious. Both dinner and dessert were Donna's treats. She didn't pay for it on a credit card. <laughs> I went to Richford with $110 and I came out of Richford with about 
30 something bucks, 31 bucks change. It's how you know this place is fence. They have cool songs for 290. Ooh la la. And that was that. Our adventure came to a close at the Wedgwood train station. Um, our Patterson bound train was actually a bit farther from here. We had to take a drive to it. But I got on the uh, Hoboken bound train that made a stop at Patterson, went home, and uh, that ended that. Top to bottom, without exaggeration, without question, it was one of the happiest days of my life. Really one of the happiest weeks of my life because part of the joy is getting to share this victory with fellow PLL pals on social media and in person. So many people to thank for one of the happiest days of my life, and it'll take a while to process them all, but first and foremost, bookends. Impeccable, quality service. They take care of you in so many ways. I was in and out of five minutes, and within 45 seconds of getting on the VIP line, I met Sasa. That's the kind of service you wouldn't expect, but once you get that kind of service, you're a customer at bookends for life. I know I am. Uh, to everybody that contributed to the card, namely at queensauce 27 at Linda underscore the underscore fangirl, at Sasa Loves Us, even my Aunt Flo. I truly thank you all, and Sasa thanks you so much. She told me herself. She's keeping the card. And hopefully, you'll get some love for Sasa. You deserve it. To everybody that congratulated me on Instagram, thank you all truly. It's nice to share this with fellow PLL pals. To Wedgwood in general, a lovely, quaint little town. I mean, great small businesses here. I mean, you saw it in our first video. Support small businesses. Bookends was a small venue that provided a gigantic blessing for me, one I'll never forget. And then uh, I want to thank my friend David Romero, DRN91, who always believed and always rooted me on, and not once did he waver in his belief that I would get to meet one of the pretty little liars. You know what made it so special? I didn't really vlog much about it. But in a way, I got to truly appreciate the experience even more. You know, to paraphrase Family Guy, uh, Brian probably said this. Everything in life is kind of like a movie, and all of it is captured through this camera. And yeah, you can't erase accidentally some memories on physical cameras like this, but you can't erase the memories up here in this camera because some experiences can't be fully appreciated just by looking through the viewfinder on this or any other camera. You just gotta experience it through these natural viewfinders that you were given at birth to fully immerse yourself in the moment. And that actually allowed me to do so. And folks, I predict that is the bus. Donna Iannelli, to say thank you doesn't do it justice. I'll be totally indebted. Um, Let's see what bus number that is, because I'm supposed to get back to Patterson. What bus is this? 746. Patterson? Alright, we'll be back. I guess it's only fitting that the following weekend, I went to the thrift store. They had a two-day Columbus Day sale. This is the second day. I'm actually filming this on Columbus Day. 50% off. The first day was for VIP members. For 36 cents, I got the St. Jude calendar for next year, 2020. More of the same, except the welcome is structured a bit differently. Right here. But you have the same holidays, both national and federal and uh, St. Jude based. Along with certain landmark milestones for St. Jude for each and every month. So more of the same. And again, Donna's late mother is named after the patron saint of lost causes, which is St. Jude, Judy. So really, St. Judy in this case was watching over the both of us and watching over everybody who attended that event. This calendar, as I said before, served as the catalyst for everything that came about. If I didn't buy this calendar, I don't think this blessing would have came my way, so I'll definitely be making donations to St. Jude over the holiday season, as should you. Another saint that didn't get any mention was my friend Zoe Mendoza, who no longer works for International High School, but her tolerance for my love for Pretty Little Liars, despite her hatred for it, well, in her own right, she is a saint too. 
And last but certainly not least, thank you guys so much for watching this entire series from start to finish. It has been my honor and privilege to bring it all to you, and I hope you've enjoyed it just as much as I have enjoyed making it for you. Of course, we're not done here. Everything is going to culminate with the review of Sasha in Good Taste. And that will certainly be our next and final video in this series. So, please, I hope you have your taste buds for curiosity ready for our last episode. Stay tuned for that. And again, thank you for watching. And who knows? Maybe the patron state of Lost Causes will strike again on me. So instead of saying the end, I'll just simply say, to be continued, with the blessing of St. Jude. Above all, I thank you, Sasa Pitiasa, for making one of my dreams come true. You will never be forgotten, and you will always be adored.